banana leaves have a wide range of applications because they are large, flexible, waterproof and decorative. They are used for cooking, wrapping and food serving in a wide range of cuisines of tropical and subtropical areas. Banana leaves are used for decorative and symbolic purposes in numerous Hindu and Buddhist ceremonies. In traditional home building in the tropical areas, roofs and fences are made of thatched dry banana leaves. Banana and palm leaves were historically the primary writing surface in many nations of South and Southeast Asia. Like green tea, banana leaves contain large amounts of polyphenols, including EGCG. They also contain polyphenol oxidase, an enzyme that produces LDOPA, a treatment for Parkinson's disease. Applications in cuisine Banana leaves used in cuisine are generally large, flexible, and waterproof. When cooking food with or serving or wrapping food with banana leaves, they may confer an aroma to the food leaves. Steaming with banana leaves imparts a subtle sweet flavor to the dish. The leaves contain the juices, protect food from burning and add a subtle flavor. In Tamil Nadu leaves are fully dried and used as packing material for foodstuffs and also making cups to hold liquid foods. The dried leaves are called Boar's House E.H. Karagu in Tamil. Some South Indian, Filipino and Kumar recipes use banana leaves as a wrapper for frying. The leaves are later removed to retain flavor. In Vietnamese cuisine, banana leaves are used to wrap foods such as kalwa. In Indian and Filipino cuisine, South Indian and some Filipino food are usually served on a banana leaf. Especially in the South Indian states of Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala in every occasion the food must be served in a banana leaf and as a part of the food a banana is served. In the Philippines, a common utilization of banana leaves in cuisine is in the preparation of the dessert known as suman, which is a glutinous rice pastry more commonly wrapped in palm leaves. In Goa on many special occasions like Ganesh Chaturthi people eat on banana leaves. In Indonesian and Malaysian cuisine. In Indonesian cuisine, banana leaf is employed in cooking method called pepes and botok. The banana leaf packages containing food ingredients and spices are cooked on steam, in boiled water or grilled on charcoal. Banana leaves are also used to wrap several kinds of snacks ku, such as ku pisang and otak and also to wrap sticky pressed rice delicacies such as lempa and lontol. In Java banana leaf is also used as a cone plate called pinkuk, usually to serve rujak tambuk, pisel or satay. The pinkuk is made by creating shallow cone-shaped banana leaf plate secured with lidi samat. The pinkuk fit the left palm while the right hand used to consume the food. It is functioned as a traditional disposable takeaway food container. The clean banana leaf is often used as a plate mat. Cut banana leaf sheets placed upon rattan, bamboo or clay plates are used to serve food upon it. In Malaysian and Singapore cuisine, banana leaves are used to wrap certain ku and otak otak. Malay food such as nasi lemak are also commonly wrapped with banana leaves before being wrapped with newspaper as banana leaves add fragrance to the rice. In Caribbean and Mexican cuisine, in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, banana leaves and parchment paper form the wrapper for pastels. Ground green bananas stuffed with meat are packed inside and then boiled with the banana leaf imparting extra flavor and aroma. Mexican, and more specifically Oaxican tamales and a local variety of lamb meat, or barbacoa tacos are often steamed in banana leaves. Banana leaves are used for wrapping pork in the traditional Yucatan dish Cochinita Pibil. The Hawaiian emu is often lined with banana leaves. In Central American cuisine, figura cubed en is a traditional Nicaraguan dish. It consists of a cabbage salad known as curtido, boiled yuca, and chicarones wrapped in banana leaf. Variations of this dish are also found in Costa Rica. Bajo is a mix of meat, green plantains and yuca cooked in banana leaves. Nacatamal is made up of mostly nixtamalized corn maza and lard but includes seasonings such as salt and achet. Filling consists of seasoned pork meat, rice, a slice of potato, bell pepper, tomato, onion, olives, cilantro and or spearmint sprigs, and on occasion, though less commonly, capers, raisins or fresh chili all wrapped in banana leaves. 
dishes traditional to Nicaragua in Honduras. In religion, banana leaves are predominantly used by Hindus and Buddhists as a decorative element for special functions, marriages, and ceremonies in southern India and Southeast Asia. Balinese Hindu prepared banana leaf as the container for floral offerings called kanang dedicated for Hyang and gods. These floral offerings were placed in various places around the house. As a writing surface, banana and palm leaves were historically the primary writing surface in many nations of South and Southeast Asia. This has influenced the evolution of their scripts. The rounded letters of many of the scripts of Southern India, of Burmese, and of Javanese, for example, are thought to be such an influence. Sharp angles and tracing straight lines along the vein of the leaf with a sharp writing implement would risk splitting the leaf and ruining the surface, so rounded letters, or letter with straight lines in only the vertical or diagonal direction, were required for practical daily use. In such situations, the ribs of the leaves function as the dividing lines of ruled paper, separating lines of text. It is believed that this was so influential in the development of Rongo Rongo of Easter Island that the more elaborate wood tablets were fluted to imitate the surface of a banana leaf. See also, Partravoli, a dried leaf eating plate, banana leaf rice, Strelitzia, a bird of paradise plant with similarly shaped leaves. Cochinita pibil, a yucata en Mexican dish that wraps pork in banana leaves. Puto, by Binka, and Suman. Filipino rice cakes which are traditionally wrapped in banana leaves. References